Hey, what's up guys? This is Nightwing2303 from weartesters.com. Today we have a quick look at the already released Air Jordan 6 in the black and infrared colorway. I was supposed to get a pair earlier because um, I pre-ordered them through Sneaker Crew uh, and then they were supposed to be here on Wednesday uh, earlier this week, but then there was, a, there was that storm. So they're like in limbo somewhere within the U.S. postal system. So I still haven't gotten a pair, but luckily I was able to score a pair from Shoe Palace. So a big thank you to the guys over at Shoe Palace. And let's just go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, so here they are. It is the infamous uh, black and infrared colorway. Um, I'm really glad that I was able to get a pair because I pass on these things numerous times back in, I think it was 2010. Might have been 2009, I can't remember, but um, it wasn't this exact pair, but it, they were the black with the varsity red, and they had suede on the upper. And those things literally sat at all of the retailers for days. They they sat on the on the shelves so long that they went on clearance, and um, or I wouldn't say clearance, clearance, but they went on like they got marked down. And then uh, uh, even then, I was like, no, I'll wait until they go a little bit lower, and then they were gone. And then when I tried to get a pair, people were listing them for like four or five hundred dollars, which is crazy. Um, and I'm talking like if you had a used pair, you can get at least like 300 for them. And I was just like, no, nah, I'm straight. So, um, and then there was the infrared pack that I think came out later that year in this, in that summer. And I wasn't trying to grab those either because that was just too much money, man. Like 300 bucks back then. Like I wasn't really, I wasn't balling like that. You know what I mean? So, um, so I wasn't trying to grab anything for $300, let alone, uh, you know, a, a package of a shoe. And then, plus it's like, it was like getting, starting to get in a hassle at that time, um, as far as like trying to pick up pairs. But I got these guys and I am more than happy. So these are not without their flaws. Um, you got a little blemish right there that they covered up. Um, but other than that, my pair was nearly flawless. There is a little dot there. And this is me nitpicking. Cause honestly, if you were to ask me if I care about that, or that the answer is no, because I'm just gonna beat these up anyways. As far as the materials go, the underlay material here on the toe, and then the two little panels there, um, or technically three, uh, this is like a, a scratchy kind of nubuck. It's not like a super soft nubuck, and it's it's okay, it's not anything crazy. And then the overlay panel here, and then the entire back, which you can kind of tell right there, because it looks a little f more like shiny or whatnot, is actually a, uh, a durabuck. So, they tried to keep things really close to the originals. The originals had a Durabuck back and then the whole front, I believe, was uh, was new book. I don't remember what this was, but, you know, it is what it is. I don't really have an original pair to compare it to. And then there's the uh, the tongue with the infrared hit, the lace lock, of course, and the tongue, or uh, the top of the tongue with the rubber. Um, they put 3M back in there, just like the originals. And, I mean, you can kind of see, like, the shininess, I guess, and that's what... Durabuck is the originals were like way like this like the whole back it almost looked like two separate panels um, of materials whereas these are both pretty jet black the new buck and the Durabuck so they look almost identical you can not really even tell unless you touch it and you can kind of feel that this is a little bit smoother than this stuff and that's pretty much it um, real basic just straight up a black and a black shoe with a uh, infrared hits I think that the infrared looks 10 times better on this pair than it does on the um, the white and infrareds and it's not because they're different shades of infrared, they're exactly the same. I just feel like the infrared looks better with the black uh, for whatever reason. It looks less, um, I don't know how to say it, like less uh, less girly, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I love the white and infrared pair. I wear the hell out of those things. And um, I'll be doing the same thing with these. But, uh, but yeah, it just looks nicer against the black. I don't know why. As far as sizing goes, if you guys didn't get a pair and you're trying to look for a pair aftermarket, I go down half a size with the sixes because they feel a little bit big. Um, but that is pretty much it. I don't want to waste any more of your guys' time, mostly because, uh, these things already released. So if you didn't get a pair, they were massively produced, um, all, all sizes, you know what I mean? Even down to like crib, I think, or toddler. And, uh, that is pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. And until next time, guys, have a good one.